among the things that are important to us as a nation today is how do we create opportunities for the millions of young people who come out of college, who come out of school, who come out of our universities to get jobs. And I will give you five interventions that we are working with. Amongst them, the one we're going to have a conversation about here. It is the reason why we have, for example, starting with our housing program. Our housing program today creates 160,000 jobs. 160,000 Kenyans who are not working two years ago, they are working today in our housing plan. Real people, I, was, I went to inspect the housing program, I think it was on Monday, in, uh, in Kibra. And it's amazing the number of people, the number of young people, and when I talked to some of them, they were telling me that because we've worked here for a year, we want the recognition of prior learning. We've acquired skills here. How do we get papers so that when we move to the next project, we are not being hired as casuals, we are being hired as skilled labor because we have acquired skills. It is the reason why we are working with UNIDO and others working on our county aggregation industrial parks. It is the reason why we have new five special economic zones and export processing zones that will tap into creating opportunities for employment for export of textiles, of agro processed uh, um, um, goods, and we are looking at opportunities on how to expand jobs in that space. It is the reason why number three, under our digital superhighway program, we are expanding our digital hubs. All majority of our tidets today have a digital hub. We have close to 140,000 young people in our tidets today who are working online. I was very, very impressed when I went to one of our Tibets and I was telling the German Chancellor yesterday, when I went to one of our Tibets, and I found a young man there called Brian and he said, Mr. President, I am working for an AI company in Germany. And this is Brian who has not even been to Nairobi. He even doesn't have a passport. But he's working for an AI company, and we are yet even to pass AI regulations in our parliament. But he's already way ahead, you know? He's already way ahead. Um, the conversation we were having this week um, was how we are going to work with parliament so that we can begin to find a regulatory framework for artificial intelligence because we have so much benefit coming out of artificial intelligence, how we can leverage on it to uh, make sure that we have all that we, we need, but also it comes with fake news, misinformation, disinformation. How do we manage that? Because it undermines you know, the benefits of technology. And number four is export of labor. Um, we have re-engineered the National Employment Authority. Um, late, earlier this morning we had uh, the CEO, uh, the grand lady there, there um, whom I recently gave a job to work as the CEO of our National Employment Authority. And they are doing now a wonderful job. It was a moribund organization. It was an almost dead organization. We have put in new energy into the organization and they are helping us reorganize that whole space around 
neighbor migration, making sure that we are organized. I know in our midst, you can sit down. I know in our midst here we have agencies that deal with uh, export of labor. We've had a serious problem with corruption and confusion in that space. And we've had to exit, I think, close to 500 companies, agencies, that were doing the wrong things. And we will continue to weed out the crooks and the people who are less than straight, who are taking advantage of jobless people in Kenya, so that we align it with what we think as a country we can get from the international labor market. And to make sure that that space is organized, apart from organizing ourselves and the institutions in Kenya, Mr. Mushangi there, who is the chairman of the Labor Committee in Parliament, now has the Labor Migration Bill that we are working on to provide again another, you know, um, legal and institutional capacity for us to manage matters labor properly. We are also establishing the Diaspora Placement Agency under her State Department, again, to make that whole exercise seamless. And it is the reason why when the president of Germany came to Kenya last year, and I had a conversation with him, and in having a one-on-one -on -one with him, he told me, Mr. President, we have a labor crisis in Germany. We need close to between 250 and 300,000 people, skilled laborers, semi-skilled laborers, semi-skilled labor in, in Germany. And it's because of that conversation that we started this endeavor. I called the ministry. I detailed uh, Rosalind here. 